I'm going to read you Frog Where Are You by Mercer Mayer. A little boy named Timmy and his dog named Bobby are sitting inside his bedroom looking at the frog that they just caught. Well, that night, Timmy and Bobby decided to call into bed and sleep. Bobby's sleeping right next to Timmy, and while they're sleeping, the frog decides to sneak out. Next day, Timmy and Bobby discovered the frog's gone. Timmy's looking in his shoes, wondering, Frog, where are you? While Bobby's looking in the jar, Frog, where are you? And then Timmy and Bobby look outside, screaming, Frog! Timmy's wondering, hmm, I wonder where Frog could have gone. Bobby decides to jump out the window. Well, Timmy, just thinking, Bobby, bad dog, you shouldn't have jumped out of the window. And Bobby had his head stuck in the jar, so when he dropped, thankfully, the jar came smashing off. But Bobby was not harmed. He was safe. Timmy and Bobby decided to go look for the frog outside of their house. Timmy decided to look into a hole. Could be any kind of animal's hole, like a rabbit or a groundhog or prairie dog, while Bobby decides to see if the frog is in a beehive. Well, Timmy made a mistake by looking into the hole because he got bit by what looks like to be a groundhog while Bobby continues to bark at the bees. Bobby decided to touch the tree and while he touched the tree he made the beehive's nest fall off. While Timmy decides to look into this giant tree hole. Timmy got scared because an owl popped out of that hole. And while the bees, they weren't very happy with Bobby, so they started to chase him. Timmy's like, shoo, owl, shoo, go away, go away. So he decided to climb onto a rock to see if he can find the frog. Bobby was not very happy. He's not happy that the bees followed him. So while Timmy was looking for the frog through some bushes, Bobby was sulking, walking towards him. mistake. He thought that what he was looking through was a bush. It was. It's just that a deer was hidden in there. So he was on top of the deer's head. And, the, and Bobby, well, he started to try to look around the rock to see if what was behind there. Oh boy, they made a mistake because that deer was not happy. So he started trotting him off towards a cliff. And Bobby was following, telling the deer, hey, hey, drop my buddy, drop him. The deer pushed Timmy all the way off the edge, and Bobby fell with him all the way right down towards a pond. And they fell, ker pop, right into the pond, splashed all over the place. Bobby, of course, didn't want to get wet, so he stayed on Timmy's head. But 
Timmy heard something. What is it? What is that noise? Bobby decided to get off. Timmy said. Timmy goes, shh, quiet, quiet, Bobby, shh. They peered over a log to see what was there. Guess who they saw? They saw Mr. Frog. They found him. They found him. And it looks like he was with somebody. It was his family. He had a wife and a whole bunch of little baby frogs. So that's why he left. He left to go be with his family. Well, even though Mr. Frog didn't want to go back home with him, he decided to allow Timmy to take one of his kids. So Timmy and Bobby said, Bye! Thanks for having fun! The end.